Hello, hello, dear friends. Welcome to today's episode of our Pet Picks Academy podcast. This is again part of our interview for us celebrating our 100th episode launch. And I'm so honestly excited and really very thrilled for a couple of reasons. So first of all, this is one of the few interviews. If you'd like, you can just check the video version if you go to our YouTube channel. But the most important thing uh, is that Kitty's mommy and Kitty herself, they were one of our first guest speakers. Yes, friends, you heard me right. I remember, right? It was like yesterday when yeah. you launched your episode. It was because you and I, we talked so long and so much. We had to break it down to two episodes. It was episode 10 and 11 and actually did hit the charts. And I'm so excited and grateful to have you today. So how is everything with you? And welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having us today. Um, Kitty should be here in a little bit. <laughs> um, for some reason, it started raining today. It never rains in the summer here. So it's kind of strange. Um, we we could not be where we are right now if it had not been for back in February, you and I meeting, and then all the just personal hands-on that you did for me as far as pictures and where to focus my pictures. And we've, of course, just grown from there. And um, I think the biggest thing I could say about that is that you gave me confidence to um, to get back in front of the camera, to find my voice, to find my look, especially look in pictures. Um, you know, I, I remember you saying that so often of you got to have your style, you know, in your thing. And, you know, I just think you can't ever underestimate how much your excitement and your dedication really um, rubs off on, on the people that you connect with your clients. Um, you know, that smile that you have and um, in that, you know, I'm so excited, you know, you can't say that too much. And, um, and that has really made a huge difference in, in keeping my motivation up and my focus up. Um, I just couldn't be where I am today with Kitty. I mean, you know, she has grown so much since February. She's a full lady now and um, just incredible, you know, to be able to show her off and to inspire people with her. Um, you know, to spread coyote love with her. And, and then, you know, we started our business, um, <laughs> which I'm so excited about. You know, we have these beautiful mountains here. Um, it's been said that it looks like Malibu and Hollywood back about 70 years ago. Wow. And uh, we have hundreds of acres in our filming. Um, we, we have like a movie ranch, but we have several movie ranches. And, um, and we're marketing to all the people in LA and Southern California that want to make movies. And we want them to come here to do it. <laughs> so um, later we can show you the website for that. But it's all put together because of the things I dream about to do with Kitty and to do for Coyotes when making a film. And, um, and you know, my theme is when hate turns to love. And that's, that's what I'm all about, showing how, how we can really impact the world by, by changing just our attitudes and our thoughts and our feelings towards something as simple, not as simple, but as coyotes. Um, you know, it, it's a huge subject and it's very symbolic of, of a lot of things, I think. And um, so all of that, you know, as we talked about in our first podcast and in several of our little commercials we did, you know, it, it all came from me accidentally having a three hour old baby coyote in my bedroom and not know it was a coyote. And so five months later, um, my life completely changed in the bonding and the incredible things that this, these animals are about. Um, you know, he ended up going to a sanctuary and I ended up finding an ambassador for coyote, which is Kitty. And um, she comes from a long line of, of dogs that were bred to look like coyotes. And, um, and she's a movie girl. So, so there you go. Ask me a question. <laughs> I'm going to ask you questions. So, you know, I always have questions to ask, but I just want to say, I'm so proud of both of you. And I, Thank you. you know, it's just, it's uh, like, see, that's the part when you do videos, people can actually see your emotions. Some typically when you hear it through the voice, it's different, but 
it's just yeah. like I'm beyond excited because it really feels like yesterday and the love for your girl and you know you're going to kind of tell a little more about your girl and how you train her to be able to be a, a movie doggy and you know how you train her also to be hired for commercials and video I know that you mentioned in our first interview about some of the exercises because for people who never heard uh, our first interview and our friends, you know, go to interview number 10 and 11, download and listen. And again, make sure you leave a review and subscribe uh, to our podcast. But it's just incredible how the passion and the love and things you never thought that it may happen to your life can yes. happen, are happening. And now you are making an impact in a larger scale. Because the truth is that I actually do love to watch TV shows and movies and <laughs> I all the pictures in the beginning when you show them to me and where you live uh, is just so beautiful and I know that if I see this in a movie I probably have to leave editing and creating classes such as I can finish the movie but it's amazing one how one thing clicked to other it just clicked. yes and, and how it's kind of always been there, but you get the motivation and you get the courage to to take that next step to say, what if to, to me, life is a series of asking the right questions. And, um, you know, what if I could turn this place into a film production you know, location and what if I could make a movie? Um, that would impact, you know, would impact the way Dances with Wolves impacted people. Um, you know, but it's going to be bigger than that. It's, it's really, you know, it, it uses coyote as a symbol, but it's going to be about how the heart changes. And, you know, in, in the question, I think that's going to be posed in this movie is what are we here for? You know, if it's not to grow in, in, you know, I may be biased in this, but I think growing towards love <laughs> is, is, is kind of important. I don't know. Um, some people don't think so. They really don't think so. But maybe that could change, right? The the possibility that hearts could open up and become more loving doesn't you know doesn't mean that you lay down and let people walk on you, but um, or as a nation we do that or anything you know. But just just that those things in movies that change people. What is that? And and those are the kind of questions I'm asking right now as I look for my screenwriter, which is coming up soon. I mean that's going to happen. Um, so, and that's the next step. So very excited and, and really, truly don't, I feel like I could not do it. You know, I would not be where I am if it wasn't for, for the things that, that you put out there and, and you're all about in your own messages, you know, and I, I think just pets and, and dogs in general makes this happen, right? It's a great subject. It changes people's hearts. They do. You know? They do. You know? And I can tell you, it's uh, it's very, it has been a very emotional uh, you know road and uh, it's like yesterday when I recorded my first podcast a podcast episode it's like and today like having all like a hundred over a hundred podcast episode and knowing Amazing. That, you know even myself yeah. really because I have people who came four times like Dewa like she came four times and like yeah. I was, episode was 30 then 50 then 80 or 90 and I'm like you know you I mean like you and I we did a bunch of videos in Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and you know now we're getting uh, together again and just to see your progress and I know one thing that the love and the passion and knowing that you as a person were born and came in this world to leave something behind you the legacy I never got this part about the legacy I really to me, I always, I always say the person I am, the person you are, the people we meet, we have a purpose bigger than us. And yes. If we just embrace it just for a second, I know that there's so many big things coming to us. And big thing can be really just simple thing, you know, like share, press the button, share, help to rescue you, you know, spread a message, you know, you know, write a movie. Uh, help others it's so many things you can do but it's just everything starts with us and going again back to when you mentioned that you know now you're seeing things in a different way you're growing and etc I only know one thing I'm comparing myself a year ago because a year ago was pretty much the time when I was 
invited to the first podcast episode I was I ever did in my life. A year later, I have a podcast and it's right. made an impact. But it's amazing. It is amazing. But you know what's amazing it's as well is that I made a decision that even if I make mistakes and even if I did something, I own my own mistakes and they are lessons in life. And yes. I'm grateful for absolutely anything and everything in my life. And I, if I had the opportunity to go back in time, I wouldn't change anything. Right, right, right. Absolutely, and absolutely. And can you just you tell are today. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're all of us here today. Look at where you're, lady. <laughs> <laughs> and can yeah. you just tell people, you know, about uh, a couple of tips? Because friends, you may not know, but again, Kitty eats activity stuff. That's actually was the name of our two podcast episodes. Uh, can you tell kind of people if they decide to, you know, to go in this route and have their furry kids, uh, TV stars and commercial, what would you recommend them? Two tips. You sure. Would and, and what has come about, um, it actually started when I had that, that little boy coyote in, in my, um, my bedroom. You know, um, he got to be about six to eight weeks old and we got an Embark DNA done and found out that he was 100% coyote. And, and all of that was, was extremely life-changing. They bond for life. Um, you know, they, they're mated for life and, and they have a very sophisticated family structure. So he didn't know he's a coyote and he saw, saw me as everything, right? So, but he also had very sharp teeth. I mean, like razor blades, you know, <laughs> more, not much more than you think with puppies and stuff. And so I, I wanted to teach him, you know, it, and this was before I came a, became a trick trainer. I actually became a trick trainer licensed with Kitty. But, but just, just intuitively, I started doing this. This is so important. You could do this with any dog, with any animal, and it will change your relationship with them. Wow. You take a treat or something that they're interested in, and you put it between your eyes. And you say, watch, or you say, look, whatever your cue word is, doesn't matter. Just so you start teaching them to look into your eyes. Yeah, that's and, and then you hold it longer and longer before you give them that treat. And so that they, they're comfortable with that. Try it until you experience it, it. It's magic. It's pure magic. And I think that was the beginning of the relationship with him where I could teach him to give me kisses instead of biting me. And everything kind of comes through that. And then you can take that concept and you can make it even bigger. And then this is how it really exploded with Kitty. When I started doing that, and then I started doing head in the lap, look at me, lay down, put the head on the chest, look at me, connect her to my body. Where, where like in the last video we did, I did this and she jumps in my arms and she's, you know, 32 pounds. And so you gotta be very specific about how she jumps. Um, so connecting that animal, that dog, even if you're not going into the studio behaviors or, or trick training, connecting that love of your life, that dog, you know, to you and letting that dog know we have a relationship and you can connect to me, especially with the eyes. That's my most important thing. I have seen so many things change with people and their dogs by that one thing. Wow. So it's 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 a nope. big thing it's a big thing. it's a big thing how come we didn't know this before how come i didn't know this before well, and i really stumbled on it by accident wow so um it, to me that's if i could get that out there to everyone that has a dog or maybe a cat you know <laughs> can you do that with a cat i guess it depends on the personality but but yeah you know that's amazing. It's just really great. So you take the treat and you put it eventually between your two eyes, the eyebrows, and that's how it is. Yeah. And if your dog's not treat oriented, then you take their favorite thing, something they're interested in. You have to get their attention. That's right. amazing. And another interesting fact uh, is, friends, that actually Kitty, uh, she has a video with opening the fridge. Yes. I remember that part. <laughs> yes, we still do that. And, and you know, um, thank goodness my refrigerator does not have a door on it. I have to actually put the little rope down because she'd be getting in it all the time now. Oh yeah, so. dangerous, dangerous. And just before we are done, I also remember that 
when uh, you are hired to do a commercial or for a movie set, they give you the exercise and you typically have like very like couple of weeks or so to practice. Right. And then you had the big strings, right? So the pet practically follow you the commands for what they supposed to do. Am I right? Do I remember it right? Yes, yes. Yeah, that, that tends to be what happens. You know, there's a lot of different kinds of dog animal casting directors. We're, you know, mainly hooked up with Positively Famous and with Hollywood Paws. Positively Famous is in Florida. Hollywood Paws is, is here in LA. And, and they're very much into the owner and, and giving the owners a lot of information and a lot of um, training actually, you know, to get the studio behavior going because it's, I think it's so much better um, for you to be able to handle your dog and, but you've got to like know some things, right? So either those two places, if you connect with them, they can, can start asking you questions and, and finding out what you know and what you've got going with your dog. Studio behavior is very similar in some ways to like agility training. And, um, and it, you know, it really kind of moves away from obedience training because it truly has to be a connected relationship, you know, um, and, and you want that dog to be happy and, and, um, and excited to do something for you, you know, so, um, so it's, a, it's a different concept and, and both of those organizations can really help you as you take those steps going that way. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for even, I know I keep learning every day and every time when I'm around you. So thank you very much. Thank you to you and Kitty for being back to the show. I'm so excited. I'm sure that you will be doing again in the future, different episodes and you'll be back. Uh, and can you tell people where they can find you? Uh, yes, the, the, I'm sure we'll put it somewhere in the, in the things, but, um, the best place to go is my website, which didn't have back in February, wasn't even a thought back in February, which I'm so excited about. We have hundreds of pictures on it. And, and not that I can really edit every single picture, but I try to make it, you know, and, and I, well, you know, the whole thing you talked about in setting the cell phone settings, that saves you so much time, you know, on um, when getting pictures and stuff. Anyway, that website is Coastal Mountains Filming locations so yeah, coastal it. mountain filming locations and um you, you know you can contact us anytime there especially if you want to come here and film or if you want to know anything about about studio behavior and training a dog and a and really i think of myself more than anything as a relationship coach with a dog um or an or a pet so. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited for both of you. And again, friends, uh, all the information is going to be below in the description of the podcast episode. Again, find us in uh, Apple podcast and uh, the rest of the platforms, including if you'd like to watch the video version, go to our YouTube channel and you can definitely see both of our faces. We all <laughs> were crying uh, from really like emotions and just being so excited to see you and Kitty's growth and now having a new direction and more clarity and just to see you happy happiness that's it that's happy. and to see you happy and i am you know we we lose track for a while because we're off developing all these other things and i'm not on instagram as much as i used to be but it's connected to my website which is exciting every post i make goes to facebook instagram website and business google um so very excited about the things i've learned and um so when you when you messaged me, I was like, yes, you know, because I didn't realize how much time had passed. And I, I was so excited to learn that you're coming up on the hundredth, you yeah. know, episode. And and anything I can do to help get that out there, please, please just, you know, maybe maybe message me in Messenger so that I'll see it because that comes to my phone. The messages in Instagram don't come to my phone. So but but I want to stay up, especially as we get you know close to the the 28th um right of September. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And um and and I want to help get that out because it's a big thing. I mean you've come so far and you've helped so many people and and you know when you find people like you 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 keep you keep them, <laughs> you Thank grab you. them. <laughs> Thank you. It means the world to me. Thank you again 
for you and your girl being on the show. Thank you, dear friends, for listening to this episode or watching that. I cannot thank you enough for your support. Again, 100 episodes, it's a big deal. It's a journey. It but you know what? We did it together and we will continue going forward, learning new things, getting inspired, having clarity and creating massive action. Massive action can be just being happy, bringing a smile in your face and just sometimes stopping and appreciating the little simple things around yes. us because happiness it's all around us. So thank you very much for being with me. Thank you so much, friends, for listening and watching today podcast episode. Again, 100. Woo-hoo! Happy dance. And I will see you in our yes. next episode. Woo-hoo! Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Bye.